when we hosted our Africa uh, Cup of Nations right here in Ghana. As I said earlier, I have veteran gospel musician Obaya Grace Ashley, and um, I was expecting her to be in a long gown or something, but today she decided to be in the you know trendy young lady outfit. Welcome to the show, Obaya. Thank you. How has life been? By God's grace. From Corona till now, has it treated you well? As an Everything artist? is okay. <laughs> All right, so quickly, you know, normally when an artist or a personality comes on the show, we have to go back to who I was. No, the whole Ghana, the whole Africa, the whole world knows Obaya Grace Ashley. Let's start with your your institution, your school, which is um, Ghana Child Academy. How is it doing now? By God's grace, everything is working, with the exception of um, the Corona, which everybody knows that it has struck every institution now. So you can't get it the way it's supposed to be, but by God's grace, everything is working. It's intact. Thank God. Yeah. And and how how did Corona actually affect your contribution towards the school from 2020 March down the line, 2020 December? Mm. Because Thank there was you. no jobs, mm -hmm. people were let to go home, money wasn't coming, and you in your institution, you rather pay the teachers to teach the, the students for free. So how were you able to fend? Or provide for your teachers. And thank you. We lost a lot of students during that time. Wow. Because most parents also loses their jobs. Most were not some were not working. Others were working but because there was no any activities, the patronage wasn't all right. So I think due to that it strike the children and their parents. But for now, we, we don't have it the way it was before. But standardly, we have at least some of the, the figure is, I don't know how to put it, but we don't have full uh, thing like before. But when you face challenges like this, do you question God? Do you question your faith? It, it, was, it, it was a problem in the whole world. So if I question my faith, I don't think I can do anything in, yeah, to solve it. There's nothing I can do, but I have to wait upon the Lord in His own appropriate time, gradually. We are getting there because since 2020, uh, the things we were passing through wasn't an easy thing, but as at now, I can see that there's an improvement. Yeah. By the grace of God, staff are coming back to normal. Yeah. Obaya, you personally, you started um, your whole singing career from the church, coming all the way from Brown Hapo, <laughs> now in Accra, and you go to know that, yes, uh, music is actually a gift God gave you to talk to the world. Now, in the industry, you faced a lot of challenges. Let's go back to 2008, when you had opportunity to compose uh, a cheer song for the Black Stars, and um, it became a trend out there that um, you were not appreciated by GFA, and, and the black stars if i should ask now do you have a good relationship with them though it's been a decade and more now thank you i think the black stars issue started from 2006 rather okay yes our first world cup entry mm -hmm. that is where the whole thing started and 2008 is where we hosted the canto yeah. eight yeah but talking about the treatment and other stuff it wasn't all right until now. You can't break up with anyone because it's the nation we were supporting. And look at the way Blaster is facing challenges now. What at all can you do? There's nothing you can do. So we have to leave it in the hands of God. So you, you still have a good relationship with them? Oh, of course. If Black Stars are playing, do you watch them? I, I, yeah, I watch them. With joy or with, with anger? Oh, with joy. Why do I, the last time we were supporting Chelsea and uh, Manu, were you doing it in, with joy or with anger? So now you're interviewing. <laughs> I want to ask you that question if you answer I was me. Doing, I was watching with joy. With joy? Yes. Why? Because, number one, Manchester is my team. Okay. And I don't have any uh, uh, misunderstanding with them. Okay. But you had a little misunderstanding with GFA. And the if you are supporting someone that you don't know, mm -hmm. somebody who is not your native, the person maybe you cannot benefit from, if you come out and you throw all your support behind them. And the ones in your country that you can use to build the country, if you, ha if you have grudges, 
among yourself. In fact, you cannot build a country. So I'm sure, being a gospel musician, I cannot hold anybody in heart. Wow. wow. Now, along... It, it, it's painful anyway. I'm a human. But that doesn't mean that I should just sit down for my country to destroy. I can't do that. So now you let go... Of I let go of everything. Now, I'm okay. Wow. I'm hoping that the black tower will stand on its feet again. That's what we are all hoping for. And I'm even calling people to support them. Wow. Yes. Just as we supported the man last <laughs> Manchester last time. You have to do that to Black Stars. Still talking about Black Stars. I remember you on a radio interview, you proposed to uh, Samojan to get you a vehicle, at least for Black Stars, or he to appreciate you for composing a cheer song for the Black Stars. I think it's the point of correction here. Sometimes you are a presenter, you come ask me a question and the question that you ask me it will demand an answer mm -hmm. so the question the presenter asks me like if you want someone to do something for you who will you ask because we have 11 players or if 22 and if i made mention of ajima and uh, asamboy jai not necessarily that when i was going i didn't drive i drove but i was just saying that with what i have done if Asamojan, because I know him personally, if Asamojan buys a car for me as an appreciation, I think I will take it. That was all that I said. Okay, so you didn't personally request it. I didn't request it. Asked you in case you he asked me, I said, okay. hey, Asamojan, then you have to buy me a car because I have worked for you guys. That's what I said. Okay, so now. So it was a problem. <laughs> So people twisted it, saying that you rather went to ask. We are in Ghana. Ghana. I know. <laughs> and since then, I've been driving, so that's not an issue. Okay, that's just by the way. Now let's come to music. Some time ago, Stone Boy was like, "Why are Ghanaians so hypocrites?" To the extent that they bash secular artists. But these same songs are being played in where pubs, hotels. But when artists. these songs are played in churches, now it becomes what? A problem a problem then you went on air or you went on social media to support stoneboy by saying that no it, it's wrong for people to discriminate secular artists and gospel artists why do you support secular um, secular music we are all human individual talent we can all be amazing we can be you are a presenter you talk i talk but i sing that does not mean that whatever you are doing I should discriminate. He's a musician. And if you go to church, you sing your gospel. But if you go to any party and they are playing um, a Stone Boy song and you are a gospel musician or you are a Christian and you jump up and you begin to dance, I mean you are being hypocrite. Why do you have to discriminate? Because if you go out there and they are playing the music, you enjoy it. But if you come and bash them, I don't see any sense in it. So do you Provided the person is not, um, is not profane. Apart from that, some of their songs is, uh, is the message and sometimes it's, 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 it's advice. It depends on how you take it. Okay, so the content of the song yeah. is what you are trying to... to yeah. I remember um, this pastor called Reverend Emmanuel praise Kofi Kinata on the kind of words he uses, he uses. Songs and wow okay now uh, have you had any collaboration with any secular artist before not yet whom would you wish to have a collaboration with it's in my mind we want to know i don't want you to i know. want to know i will not tell you i want to know and be part of the music and the video and i don't want to tell the general public i want to do it in a surprise in a surprise yes i wish you told me no they will hear okay which secular artist do you support here in Ghana? I have a lot of them. Mention one. No, one I, can't, one. I can't mention one. Amongst five children, definitely they'll be the best. Let's say you have two kids. You have a favorite, most definitely. No. No, I can't do that. I was not trained like that. My father has 30 children and he lost everybody. Everybody. It depends on you, the parents, whatever you are expecting from which of your children. 
would you do a collaboration with any secular artist for free? For free? Yeah. As in? If any mainstream, I wouldn't even use the new school. Let me talk about the mainstream. Okay. You know, the legends. From the sax to the stones to the shatter to the... Would you do any collaboration with any of them for free if they should approach you? It depends on the kind of song. It would be a blend of secular and gospel. But the, if lyrics, say, uh -huh, the yeah. content will be very educative and not profane. Exactly, say. I'll do it. For free. For free. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what 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 um, actually inspired you to to um, get into music? Because yes, we all started from the churches. We've all been singing. Me myself, I used to sing in the church. But what really inspired you to get into music? Was it for the fame, the money, or the passion? The passion. If it was the passion, then I think, let's go back again to when you composed the chair song for Black Stars and nothing really came from mm -hmm. the industry or GFA. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should have taken like, like oh, me cry, me I didn't know for a uh, passion. That is why I've forgotten it. But then it was a pain. It was a pain because I used money to do it. Oh, from your own coffers? Yes, from my own coffers. Interesting. Okay, now let's, <laughs> let's, let's fast forward to your new song, uh, Empire Ngo. In, in English, I'll call it what? Cast Away. Yeah. Cast Away, right? Yeah, yeah. Something so what like inspired that. you to do that song? Um, I always come out with a message. If you have followed me, any music I composed. My favorite is Asida. Which one is Asida? Asida is one of your old. I don't know if the title is Asida. As Which is Asida? You have a song titled Asida. I think Masideni. Masideni, thank you. Yeah. I love that song. <laughs> yes. There's a reason behind every music I compose. And I come out always with a message. I don't just come out. I make sure I carry a message. And that message I have to cut across. To work for you, it will work for me. Whoever will listen, apart from you, it will work for the person too as well. So the word Mpangu, if you come to our local language and they say something Mpangu, and I use the word Bonibia Mpangu. So anything that is bad in our life, the journey of life, whilst we are progressing, death is there, sickness is there, uh, unemployment is there. A lot. We always pray that the Lord Almighty will protect us and lead us and guide us, whatever we want to do. So, we pray to God that He should let all those things I mentioned cast away. Because with those things, we cannot move forward. So that's the reason why in Pongo. Wow. And the visuals is also out there, which I'll be, yes. uh, I'll be airing very soon. Yeah. Who shot the video and how many days did it take to shoot? <laughs> it's Skyweb. And if you ask the day, ask of the days. <laughs> it was more than a day. Yeah, yeah. it's wow. more than a week. More than a week? Yes, it depends on I the... I music videos take just two hours. It depends what you want. Okay. It wants, Who did it direct in you or Sky? It's Sky. Okay. It depends on the type of um, 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 locations and the type of video you want to come out with. That will give you the time as in one day or two days to come out. Wow. My hours is more than one week. You use your own money to shoot it? Of course. Interesting. I've been a producer for myself for 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Talking about your attributes, um, can you mention any personality or anybody who has graduated from the tertiary level who attended your school? As in? Can you mention anybody today that you can pinpoint who attended Grace Academy? And he has completed yeah, from, university. yes. I have um, Isaac upon, I have Ernest Ashley. Are they popular? Where popular means? Are they, like, are they personalities? Are they known out there? Or they're just individuals? They are individuals, okay. but I think they are doing well, whatever, wherever they are. In their field, some of them are accountants. One was working with snakes. Yes, he's an accountant. He's a very sharp brain guy. Yes. So thanks to Obaya Grace Ashley, yeah. her school has produced, produced two yeah. graduates. Yes. 
and they are they all are, doing well yeah. in the corporate sector and wow big ups when my kids are great they'll come to your school you're welcome <laughs> one thing that is trending in ghana right now is fix the country celebrities are on board personalities are on board you as a christian let's use uh trini jonas who is also using his voice to to make sure the country is stable and functions well the system wants to work but do you think number one he's going overboard number two do you think he being cursed by the chief or the locals was right i'm asking this because you're a christian is cursing the right thing if somebody's trying to do the right thing in a very harsh way cursing is not right and it's not the right thing the bible said that curses will not affect you unless you deserve them so you can curse somebody baseless you can curse somebody based on something it depends on what you are cursing the person for so what Jonas issue is a general thing and uh, I don't know how to put it but I think those cases will not work okay why yeah. wouldn't it work it won't work if only you are at fault at some of the things he has been mentioned okay then it will not work should we fix ourselves or we should fix the government fixing ourselves how do I put it for me I know when I'm walking on the street, I don't have to litter the street. I don't have to throw water and other stuff in the gutter. That one is there. But now, fixing the country is different from telling someone to fix your attitude. Our attitude will add up to whatever we have, you know, to project it, to make it back. So whether we will fix our attitude or whatever the government is doing. Um, there's one thing I've been saying that it's not only the government who will, uh, I mean, I don't know how to put it, but who will create a, a nation or something for the nation to benefit. You add up, I add up, yeah. then we complete it. Yeah, because even Bible says God will also help them. So it's not Bible. That one is not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. No. Is it the Bible? It's not in the Bible. But it's a Christian quote. They say having help those who don't help themselves. The but a Christian quote. It's a Christian quote. Yeah. It's not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is news to me. <laughs> By the way, um, if you just join, that's uh, Obaya Grace Ashley, and uh, we have her new video M Pango, which I'll be airing soon. And of course, the phone lines are open zero five zero seven three seven two. 006 you can call in but before then let's check out this video when we come back i have one major question to ask her let's watch this video and that was the that video was the by obaya grace ashley m pango i love your outfit who styled you thank you who styled you in that in that video it's my small boy what's his name the name is max max yes. okay here in accra yes hey Big shout out to you, Max, Charlie. That outfit, Charlie. God bless you. And the dancers as well. Who, who did the choreography? Was it you or you had an instructor? Yeah, I think uh, we have an instructor. Okay. Yes. Okay. Everything is on point. And you can't do everything all by yourself. True. That is why it takes time before you get the video that you want. Wow. Because you need to arrange it well. Okay. For you to get uh, 20 hertz at a go as dancers it's not an easy thing you know we will still be waiting for whom she would want to have a collaboration with when it comes to this <laughs> thank you so much for having us on classified showbiz and before you go uh, we want your last words your social media handle and please go on all our social media platforms and make sure you get these videos and the audios and be more spiritual mm? we live we're in the last days be more spiritual so obaya please your last words my last words, Ghana is for all of us. If it destroy, it destroy for all of us. If we think of the next generation to come, we have to do our things right. Because if you are not able to build it well, they will suffer. It's like an individual, the journey of life that you are on, if you don't make sure you do your things right, your children will suffer. 
You have to look at the things that you lack and make sure you provide before your children come. That is what we have to do. And of course, we have to, I don't want to put the word, we have to fix our attitude, no. But I know we have to do the right thing because a lot of things are not right. So we do the right thing, let's clean our environment. Because for that one, it's not the government who will throw those trash around. And being a good citizen, make sure if somebody is doing something that is wrong, you caution the person so that we build a nice country and we live in it. That's it. Uh, the question I wanted to ask you, my time is up, I would have asked you, there's this video on social media seeing people pack cement bags in an ambulance. I don't even know whether you saw it. Yeah, that. I've seen it. I mean, what, what, should, what should take on that? Was it right? It or? wasn't right. <laughs> but I don't know where it was coming from. from. You know, if it is the driver that was doing that, fine. Uh, it's wrong. If it, whoever he's working for is doing that, we don't know. And we have to ask ourselves, why that? Because we're supposed to take human beings, we're supposed to help people who are suffering, struggling from the hospitals. And if you are going to use it, I mean, it's not good. It's not right. It's not right. Fix yourself by Obaya Grace. Ashley, please, before you go, your social media handles. Yeah. My, my Instagram is I am Grace Ashley. Okay. My Facebook is Grace Ashley. And YouTube. Grace Ashley Ministry. Okay. Yes. And all the social media handles, you can get me there. Make sure you go and subscribe to the Mpangu. It is a new video that is trending. If you play that music in your house in the morning, you have not played. But if the moment you put that song, just walk out and you see miracles. Because everything that is bad, when you are in your and your mom. So Amen. that is that. And it was a miracle also having you on this show. Thank you so much. All right. Because you told me you were very little when I was singing. Yes, but I thank God I'm, I'm now 50 years and you are still interviewing me. Time is I am powerful. happy. Yes. Time is powerful. So I'm happy. Wow. So finally, um, I bring the um, chit chat to an end. I'm still going to get you that information on who she wants to have a collaboration with when it comes to secular artists right here on Classified Showbiz. Please make sure you follow all our handles on social media at EBN Ghana. In case you missed this interview, you can go back on our page on, on, on Facebook. You can watch the playback or subscribe to Classified Showbiz on YouTube and watch this interview again. My name is MC Miguel. You can call me the Entertainment Minister. Big thank you to Shu Bay for giving me this maker and also the jeans is by my very own payday up inside Kaneshi. Thank you guys so much for always making sure I drip on set. And this show was probably sponsored by Edis Pizza. To sponsor this show, hit us up on 050-737-2006. I'll be coming back same time tomorrow from 12 to 1, bringing you numero uno classical entertainment with my very own Irabna, the Unbreakable, and Ruby Kinsedi. Once again, as I always sign out, adios. Keep watching Classified Showbiz. Ciao.